Hey, this is Adam from VMAX Swap. And Ken. And uh, we just wanted to walk you through real quick how simple it is to actually hook up one of our standalone harness systems on your Duramax and your custom build or whatever it may be that you're putting together. Uh, what we have here today is an LMM new standalone harness. This was built from new components rather than a donor harness. Uh, but it's exactly the same in the way that your harness will be delivered. Um, we're going to connect it to this truck here. Um, just to show you how easy it is. Obviously, there's a bunch of other connections that uh, you'll want to make and those are outlined in the instructions. But uh, let's go ahead and get this thing on the truck and we'll show you how easy it is to make it run. So, it's got the harness and the ECM and the fuse block attached to that. Uh, this system is designed to just run an engine only, not engine and transmission. So it only has the connections for the engine itself. What I'm gonna do is pop out the fuse block in this 08 LMM the cover and access the starter relay here so that we can use our magic starter switch okay so then let's get our connections to the engine yeah and since this was a running driving truck I'm just going to disconnect the existing wire harness and then plug in the new standalone harness Obviously, you're going to want to mount your components better than this. <laughs> yep, the idea is just to show you how quick and easy this is. So there's really three connections that are all that's required to make the engine fire up and run. Um, actually, driving it and getting it to go down the road are a little different, but right now, all that's important is our ground wire here. Now, for our purposes right now, we're just going to connect to one of the accessory brackets. You do not want to do that when you're doing this on your truck. It is critical that this wire is connected directly to the iron engine block. Somewhere down near the motor mount, there's a bunch of threaded bosses where you can connect it. But here we're just going to make a quick connection to the accessory bracket for our ground. And then we've got the other two wires, which are critical to making it run, are just your red and your pink wire. This being your constant 12 volt, and that's your ignition circuit to make the truck run. So he's going to go ahead and connect those two. And now this truck has already been run, obviously, so the common rail fuel system is completely primed. Generally on a motor that's been sitting for a while or a motor that you purchased, it's gonna take quite a bit of cranking to prime your common rail fuel system. So it's important that you take the time to do that before you're worried about whether the harness or some other issue is causing a no start. So as I said, this one's ready to rock. So power and ignition, and then I'm going to jump the starter relay here. And there it is running. So by pulling that ignition wire, the engine shuts off. Again, as I said, this is just what it takes to get the truck to fire up an idle. You will need a mass airflow sensor, accelerator, pedal, and quite a few other connections to be able to run and drive the truck. But um, it really is that simple, folks. So if you've got any other questions, obviously you can consult our site or you can shoot us an email at info at And uh, hope to see your project burning the tires off and running down the road soon. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.